Okay, so, you know, we get some interesting deep dive requests, but this one, this one's a, a new one for sure. We're diving into Lorem Ipsum today, oh, yeah. which I'm sure you've seen it. It's like everywhere, right? Like that placeholder text you see on websites and stuff. But like who knew there was an actual like history behind it? Well, and that's what's so interesting is that it's not just random gibberish. You yeah. Know? It actually comes from somewhere. Okay. A very specific piece of Latin writing a a piece by Cicero. Wait, Cicero? Like the Cicero? Yeah. The Roman orator. The uh the Defimbus Bonorum et Malorum, like good and evil guy. That's the one. <laughs> wow. That's a lot lot heavier than I thought we were getting into for like essentially placeholder text, you know? Right. Just like blah 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 on a website. Yeah, exactly. Defimbus Bonorum et Malorum was all about ethical philosophy, which seems a far cry from its use today as uh as placeholder text. Okay, so then how did it go from like serious philosophical uh, discussion to just the go-to gibberish for, like, designers and stuff. Well, it's uh, it's kind of a funny story, actually. The specific passage where Lorem Ipsum comes from is about, well, it talks about pleasure and pain. Okay. And how those aren't always good indicators of what's actually good or bad. Interesting. Ironic, almost, considering how much, like, visual pain it saves in, like, the design world, I guess. Right. Talk about design neutrality. Yeah. So designers can look at it and focus on layout and not not get bogged down by, you know, what the actual words are saying. That's true. It's all about uh, not being distracted, right? Exactly. Yeah. And if we if we kind of connect that to the bigger picture, the information overload that we all kind of face today, that can feel like a kind of pain, can it? It really can. Too much information, too fast. Gives anybody a headache. Okay, so lorem ipsum, this kind of weird window into how we design things, but... Like, how did it actually evolve? Like, how did it get from Cicero's, you know, writing to, like, websites today? So walk us through it. Like, Cicero writes this thing, and then how many centuries later are we talking until it pops up again? Yeah, it's a journey, that's for sure. It's a long one. I mean, after Cicero wrote those words, it was basically crickets for lorem ipsum mm -hmm. for a while, for a long while. Okay. And then, you know, fast forward a bunch, and we get to the invention of the printing press. Oh, okay. And that kind of changes things, right? Because now you have printers and they need a way to, you know, they need something to print to show different fonts, to show their clients different layouts and stuff. But they don't want to get bogged down with like real text. Right. Yeah. So they start using, you know, lorem ipsum because it's just this jumbled Latin. It's perfect. Yeah. Like the text itself is meaningless. So it doesn't distract from what you're actually trying to show off. Exactly. So it became like the printer's little secret weapon. I like it. Yeah. And then from there, well, I mean, you can guess what happened. The digital age comes along. Right, right. And suddenly, everybody needs placeholder text. Oh. Because now we've got websites, we've got software, you name it. Everything, yeah. And again, designers need a way to like just focus on what they're doing, the visuals. Oh. They don't want to get bogged down in the weeds with like actual content. Makes sense. And lucky for them, Lorem Ipsum was right there, you know, Waiting in the wings. Ready to go. Ready to go. And already familiar because of, you know, the whole printing history. It's like the perfect example of, you know, it's like the right thing at the right time. Like it was it was there and then it was like perfect when we and needed wow, it. True. OK, but here's the thing I don't get. So in the digital age, we have so much text, right? Like tons of it, like everywhere, right? Why not use real text, right. like an article, a blog post? Why this like jumbled up Latin? What's so special about it? Well, this is where Lorna Mipsum really shines. Okay. It's all about what we call visual neutrality. Mm. Um, so imagine this. You're trying to appreciate a painting. Right. But there's someone there and they just keep talking about like the painter's life story. Yeah. And you're trying to look at the painting, but all you're hearing is this like information about the painter. So you can't actually like process how you feel about the painting itself okay so it's like the opposite of those like museum audio guides all right exactly that tell you like what it's supposed to mean exactly you know or it's like it's like trying to um trying to enjoy the scenery on a road trip yeah but someone's blasting the radio yeah and it's like you can't actually enjoy the subtle beauty of what you're seeing right because there's like another input that's just yeah exactly exactly that makes sense oh, so lauren Mipsum. It's like that quiet space. Right. It lets the design itself, like, speak. Designers can focus on what they need to focus on, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, lay out what fonts to use, mm -hmm. spacing, yeah. without being, like, influenced by, oh, you know, what do these words actually mean? What does that say? It just, 
it helps them create like a clean slate for their ideas. I never thought about it like that, but it makes total sense. Like it's not just about, it's not just that it's a placeholder. Right. It's like, it's shaping how we're gonna, even before the real stuff is there, it's already like shaping our experience of it. Absolutely, you got it, 100%. Okay, cool. Now, that being said, there are, you know, while lorem ipsum is a real workhorse, there are times when, you know, using a different kind of placeholder text might be better. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, it all just depends. Like, let's say, you know, you're designing a website for a travel agency. It might actually be helpful to use placeholder text that, you know, sounds like travel writing. Right. Because then you get a better feel for how that final product is going to look, right? Yeah, it's like a more specific kind of not distraction. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So there are, like, specialized lorem ipsums out there if you want to get real specific right right for those in the know you know i like it but i mean for the most part lorem ipsum is like the king you know? yeah it's everywhere it's true it's ubiquitous but it's also it's kind of become like this weird little cultural phenomenon in a way right yeah. it's not just like a design thing anymore i feel like so where else does it show up besides like you know websites that are still being built and stuff give us the rundown Oh, man, you'd be amazed. Like, it's become this visual shorthand, you know, for under construction. Okay. Work in progress, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Like, I've seen it, you know, on computer screens in movies, TV shows. Right. Whenever they want to show something's, like, you know, in development. Yeah, it's like that. It's like the universal symbol for this is not the real thing yet. Like it's just <laughs> it's like those those fake cakes in bakery windows yes. that are like all for show. Exactly. But like you can't eat it. It's just yes, yeah, all presentation. <laughs> yeah. No substance yet, exactly. And speaking of presentation, musicians have even like gotten in on this. Oh yeah. I read about this. There's a there's a composer named David Lang. And he actually wrote a piece of music called Lorem Ipsum. He uses the sounds and rhythms of the words to create this, like, really fascinating musical texture. It's wild. See, that's that's next level. Yeah. Like, lorem ipsum is officially, like, transcended the whole placeholder thing. Right. I know. It's like, it's star power. It really is. It's true. And, of course, we can't forget about the pranksters out there, right? Oh, yeah. People replace real text with lorem ipsum, <laughs> you know, just to mess with people. Oh, that's good. Because it just, it really shows you how meaningless those words are. Mm -hmm. Unless, you know, unless you're specifically looking at them for, like, you know, design. <laughs> because otherwise it's just, wait, what am I? It makes you do a double take, for sure. Yeah, imagine getting, like, a birthday card. Right. And you open it up and it's just, like... Lorem ipsum all over. That's hilarious. Yeah, a little bit of a letdown. Like, thanks, I think. Right. But, you know, it just goes to show how much it's, like, embedded in our brains. Totally. Know? Like, we don't even realize how much we see it, probably. Yeah. And just, like, our brain just kind of, like, s s skips over right. it. Right, exactly. So, lorem ipsum, it's, like, gone from, like, ancient Rome to to the printing press to, like, the internet. It's still here. I know. It's kind of mind-blowing when you think about it. It really I mean, is. It really is. Like this, you know, seemingly insignificant thing, right? Yeah. Placeholder text. But it actually tells us a lot about how we how we interact with information. Yeah. How our brains work, even. Yeah, like how we process language, like all this, like, deeper stuff that you wouldn't think about just looking at it. Exactly. Yeah. And how, how we, like, perceive design and, you know. It's, yeah. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. It really is. And I think that's... You know, it's like what you said at the beginning. It's that idea that, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. Because mm -hmm. you see lorem ipsum, you think like, oh, that's that's nothing. Right. But really, it's like this whole, like, it's got this whole story behind it. It's this, like, hidden world. Yeah. I like that. That's a good way to put it. So next time you're, like, looking at a website and you see lorem ipsum, just, you know, take a second. Think about Cicero. Think about the printing press. Think about, like, how weird our brains are. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. Well, on that note, I think we've done our deep dive for today. Yeah, I think so. So until next time, keep it real, keep it curious, and, uh, you know, try not to get too bogged down by all the lorem ipsum out there. Words to live by.